you're a god power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. How to get rid of your unwanted vibrations. Even though unpracticed and ignored vibrations fade into the background, sometimes there are vibrations that you have currently that you are conscious of and you want to get rid of them quickly. You don't want to have to wait for them to fade because you perceive that they are doing damage to your experience in the meantime while they are still active. Then you must get rid of them quickly and effectively. One of the problems of unwanted vibrations that most people don't realize is the collateral damage that they cause. If you notice that someone is a liar, then not only do you elicit more lying from them, but you elicit lying from others and even yourself. If you don't like red cars and you seem to notice them everywhere because of it, not only do you notice them, but because the vibration also resonates with the rest of the family of unwanted events, you will also notice more of the other things that you don't like also. Your frequency vibrations are always transmitting throughout the universe using resonance to elicit appropriate information and responses for you. However, what if you have made some changes in your way of thinking and believing and you now want to cancel the unwanted vibrations? Can they just be canceled or what does it take to get rid of them? How do you stop unwanted vibrations from eliciting unwanted results into your life experience? Well, those are very good questions and very good thinking by the way. First we have to get back to the basics of what exactly vibrations are. Remember that vibrations are made of subject plus perspective or meaning and its power is based on the emotional level or volume that it has. The subject might be a pill and the perspective or the meaning might be that it is a miracle drug which you might be very excited about. Therefore, you have a vibrational transmission that will now elicit healing by resonance from your body as well as elicit all other related events and circumstances that will help and support the healing process in a strong and powerful way. That could be anything from noticing a show on TV that is about a person who just got healed from the same disease or it could mean that you get tired and go to sleep so that the body can do its healing thing. So in answer to your questions, it is very hard to change the subject. You could say I hate certain people who do this or that, or I'm afraid of cancer or war or disease in general. You don't want to now say that you like or want those things, but at the same time, you can't really say anything about them because by doing so, you are still activating the subject. So no matter what you say about cancer, you activate the thought of it and it resonates within you and elicits its relevant aspects into your experience. So like you asked before, what do you do? One. Use your God power to change the meaning. First, attempt to change the meaning. If it is cancer that worries you, then take away its power. Say that it is only a manifested representation created by thoughts and it can be removed in the same way. Also remember that nothing in itself will give you cancer, not even your genes. Remember in the video example, The Biology of Perception Chapter 1, Your God Power, that Bruce Lipton found that most people who had cancer didn't even have the genes for it. It wasn't biology based. This book will give you the understanding and knowing that you need to pull the rug from underneath your fear of disease. What keeps a vibration active is the periodic rethinking of the subject. If you picture a child's toy, the top, as long as it is spinning, it is upright. But as soon as it slows down, it falls over. The same is true with your vibrations. Thinking about the subject is like reaching out and giving the top another spin. You can keep it going and going as long as you keep thinking about it. If you know that disease is not a real physical event, but instead it is just a mental construct, then you don't have to worry that it's going to sneak up on you. It can't. It is not created by what you eat or do. It is created in the mind. 
Worrying about something is like keeping the top spinning. Worry is one of the strongest vibrational activators there is because not only does it bring up the subject for thought again, but it adds high negative emotional energy to it. By turning up the volume on the negative emotional energy, that meaning generates a powerful frequency vibration that resonance brings into your experience even faster and bigger than it ever would have or could have without the worrying. Stop worrying already. Instead, think about the positive aspects of the situation. Remember, from a place of worry, you cannot see solutions or opportunities because, quote, opportunities and solutions do not resonate with worry, unquote. Since they don't resonate with worry, worry can't reveal them to you. You have to think about the positive aspects of the situation in order to see the opportunities and solutions that are available. Opportunities and solutions do resonate with optimistic viewpoints and positive thoughts. When you think that things will work out somehow, in some way, that carries the meaning there is a solution and opportunity available in this situation. When resonance gets a hold of that frequency, it resonates with all of the solutions and opportunities that you never imagined would be and shows them to you. Number two, change the bad vibration idea into a good one. If you're worried about moving and you want to get rid of that fear that you might have to move, then instead think that moving might be a great idea. By using this simple technique, you change the negative alignment into a positive one. As it was before, while you were worrying about it, you were not only attracting the move, but you were harming your biological state and resonating with and attracting all kinds of other things that you also don't want. By thinking that this might actually be a great idea, suddenly all the reasons why it might be good come to mind. And at the same time, your body's physical state returns to good and you are now resonating with and attracting the good things that you want. What is important here is that not only do you now see all the reasons that moving would be a great idea, but at the same time, you also now see all of your other options that you couldn't see before. One of those options might be to stay in your house and not move. From a place of fear and worry, you are channeled into the very thing you were worrying about, like a cow chute that funnels the cows into the trucks and takes them to slaughter. Remember, solutions and opportunities do not resonate with worry, but they do resonate with optimistic thinking. So if you turn this around into a good idea, then it will light up all other options as well, even if those do not involve moving. Number three, the mutual exclusion technique. Remember that you cannot pay attention to the subject of the thought without activating it. This means that if it's a sensitive subject for you, it can't be touched with a 10-foot pole or any thought. However, you might be able to get rid of it by mutual exclusion. Mutual exclusion means that if one thing is true, then the other has to be false by mutual exclusion. If you think that you spend too much, then think that you save too much instead. As you consider that you are a saver, you will notice yourself saving instead. The meaning that you are a saver will elicit saving from you and will elicit saving opportunities from the universe. Often, people will not notice one of their own traits because they are focused on the other. So as you notice yourself saving, you don't notice yourself spending unwisely. By focusing on the one, you naturally exclude the other by mutual exclusion. By using this technique, you can not only stop thinking about the other vibration, but you can get the bonus of strengthening the opposite vibration and meaning in the process. While mutual exclusion works great by using opposites, it can also work by mutually excluding options or selections. If you don't like the color red and you seem to see it everywhere, think instead that you like the color blue or white and look for it. You can only pay attention to one thing at a time, so as you are noticing blue, you aren't noticing red. This strategy can work for many different situations. If there is someone 
that you deal with that has a certain feature about their manner or body that you don't like, then think about and notice something else about them that you do like instead. As you practice noticing how intelligent they are or how well they dress or something else, you will soon begin to stop noticing that trait that you are not fond of. Also, by the power of resonance, you will draw out and elicit more of the traits that you are now noticing and the ones that you don't like will all but disappear. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 11, Segment Number 37. Let your quest for knowing continue.